video and the videos that follow are to discuss all the replacement refrigerants, and I say all, all the major replacement refrigerants for R22 that are out there on the market. Let me first say all of these refrigerants work if you follow the manufacturer's recommendations on how to use these refrigerants. All of them, all of the replacement refrigerants for R22 will drop out of efficiency as compared to R22. All of them are not as efficient. Only one refrigerant exceeds the efficiency levels and that's to get them switched over to 410A. And the sooner you get them switched over to 410A to save you the most amount of money. If you keep trying to string your R22 equipment along, it just keeps getting more expensive. That's the reason you're looking for an alternate now is R22 has gotten to the price where it's over $800 a job and nobody can afford to put it in. But with all the choices, which one do you choose? And again, all of them work to some degree of efficiency as compared to R22. And all of these refrigerants are blends. Even 410A is a blend. And what that means is a mixture of two or more refrigerants mixed together to form a whole unique substance. And we should never, ever attempt to blend or mix our own refrigerants. As of 2010, no mixing of any refrigerants shall occur. But we use the term loosely saying, I need a drop-in refrigerant. And I think it needs some clarification because some people have a tendency to mean, can I drop that in on top of my existing charge of R22? And the answer is no. The refrigerant that's in the system must be removed, then the new replacement refrigerant added. And yes, I do understand that people are doing this out in the field and experiencing some sort of success in that they're satisfying the thermostat and cooling the resident. But I don't know what the mixture is made. I'm not a chemist, nor am I an idiot, but I do know that if you mix these refrigerants in certain proportions, depending on the percentage, that volatile reactions can happen. So with that said, do not mix any refrigerants. Drop in means to remove the old charge and then introduce the new refrigerant. On the next videos, we'll break down each one of them and more to follow on each individual refrigerant.